Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marion Kennedy. Body camera footage shows part of a confrontation between police and a 20 year old woman on a New Jersey beach over the Memorial Day weekend. Jerika Duncan reports from New York. Take a deep breath and blow into that, all right? Body cam video shows officers asking Emily Weinman to take a breathalyzer test after the 20 year old was seen with alcoholic drinks. Go grab her real quick and we're going to have them pour that all out. Later, police attempt to cite her for possession of alcohol on the beach. I didn't disrespect you. Okay. And, you're, and I, you don't need to write my name down either. But Weinman appears not to cooperate. Okay, what's your last name? You don't need my last name. Okay, that's it. I'm done with you. Do you have cuffs on you? The officers begin to Get approach her. Fuck me. Yo. Don't touch me. All right, you're about to get dropped. During the attempted arrest, Weinman appears to reach out and push the officer before the camera cuts out. During the beach, they get another unit. They're choking me, man. Man, I cannot breathe. When the video comes back, the officer is on top of Weinman with his arm on her neck. He then appears to swing his arm and hit her repeatedly. Stop, no. A moment apparently captured in this now widely shared cell phone video showing an officer punching Weinman in the head. As she's being handcuffed, Weinman appears to spit at one of the officers. Later, the officers can be heard explaining their version of the events. She tried kicking at us, so we slammed her on the ground. She kicked him, and then I just thought I hit her a couple times. Weinman now faces several charges, including two counts of aggravated assault on a police officer. Her attorney released a statement saying, in part, these videos coupled with the bystander video show the officers involved overreacted to a situation which had no elements of violence or the need for anyone to be taken into custody. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York. And now here's meteorologist Rob Ellis with your forecast. Here's Futurecast. It calls for a few of those showers. Notice how quick they are to move through and how quick they are to form and then dissipate. And we'll see that through the afternoon. The clouds are kind of left through the evening and maybe even overnight. Otherwise, we've got partly cloudy skies for tomorrow and we may start near 70 for the morning, but we may end up in the afternoon down into the 50s. So it's going to be a cooling trend all through the day tomorrow. Your warmest part of the day is going to be the morning. Your coolest part of the day is going to be the afternoon. So when you look at these numbers, yeah, this is today. 90 hot, humid, pretty typical summertime pattern. And then tonight the changes start all because of this northwest wind. 65 for the overnight low, but that's kind of a catch for any of the temperatures that do try to cool down. And while I've got 73 for our uh, daytime high temperature, I think we're going to continue to see those numbers drop. Those numbers are going to continue dropping all through the day. So 73 for a high that may happen after midnight. After that, we see the temperatures go down into the 50s and then you get temperatures that are supposed to feel a little bit more like June for Saturday and for Sunday with highs returning to 80 by next week. But I think you're going to enjoy not just that the temperatures have cooled down, but that that humidity is mm -hmm. going to come down as well.